and I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky, all of the Barbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we ain't playing tag. Hey honeys, what's pop lock and dropping? It's your girl Elijah checking in with you. So today, girl, it's just another day in my life. I'm starting the day off doing some laundry and I've been into the tights. I've been trying to stay out of sweatpants. I feel like tights and a nice little top will complement your body so good. I've honestly been going to rainbow, yes girl, rainbow, to get my tights and my tops because they're only $4.99, $3.99 there and the quality is really good. I'm talking about the tights and the shirts. I love it. I've actually been going there to buy a lot of my clothes. Doing. I feel like I'm just, I've am just. i never been the type to spend a lot of money on my clothing because I feel like it's going to get dirty anyway. It's going to end up ripping anyway. I'm the type that likes to spend my money on either a nice handbag. I feel like your accessories should be designer. So designer shoes, designer bag, real jewelry. You know, I'm not really the type to wear fake jewelry. So investing in high quality jewelry and then also even designer hats. So I've been into this brand called Ma. Hey, Ma J. I don't really know how to pronounce it. M A J E. And they have the cutest hats and the cutest clothes. I've been going for like a Jackie Kennedy kind of look when I go out. I've been trying to raise the bar when I get dressed because I'm so tired of going out looking like a hoochie mommy. Okay. So I hope y'all enjoy this vlog and let's get into oh, it. I changed into this cute little white top. And these tights, I love these tights. They fit my body really nice. I like these. They be really good. Oh, booty popping, what? Go, go. Mm. Yeah, I like these. I've been trying to, you know, keep it cute and wear the tights. Stay out of the sweats, because you know me, I like to wear baggy clothes sometimes. So I'm trying to keep it nice and seductive and cute and feminine and soft. We're practicing soft life. And I just look so much better, especially even with the lashes, with getting my lashes done by a good lash artist. Because now my face just looks so much better. And on the lip, Sugar Baby Kisses, my lip gloss brand. Definitely gonna be dropping these again soon. I checked out of everything, but I was like, girl. I was always trying new stuff. I'm always trying new stuff. But I had to realize I love being an influencer and I love dropping my products. So that's what I'm gonna stick with. And I'm about to do my hair. It, I honestly just had put some curl, hair curl product in it and wet it and just left it natural. I've been not trying to put so much heat in my 40 inches because it has been um, breaking off because I have been I was putting way too high of heat. But of course, now I know to put a low heat. I only need it on about, um, this is 320 that I have it on. Um, and I like mine really thick. So I have in about seven six to seven bundles i think it is i think it was six i think yeah i think it was six or seven and i'm gonna get two more bundles actually because there's some space right here like in my braid um you see like right there there's like a whole space for uh, me to fill it in and you could see it when i straighten it that kind of dips in like that so i'm going to get me two more bundles and fill it out um because i like my i as long as it's past my butt I'm fucking with it. Let's sit and do my hair. Smoke and talk with y'all. Oh, I got the director's chair. This. And I'm gonna also show y'all what products I use in my hair while I'm doing it. I'm making a do. First, let me 
see what this alarm is all about. start on my hair so the products that I like to use are bio silk I love the way bio silk smells and then I just got turned on to this product it's called it's a 10 I found it at the Kroger's um, by my uh, in my neighborhood um, well I found it at Kroger's this product is called it's a 10 Express Miracle Silk Smoothing Balm, and then I got the Miracle Silk Leave-In. But I'm really mad because the bottle doesn't work anymore, so, well, it does work, actually. It wasn't working earlier, but yeah, so, and it smells really good. I like products that leave my hair smelling scrum de -lily -um chest girl. And I used to section off my hair, but because I have such long bundles, I just part it like this. And then I section it off this way. And I'll straighten one side of my head and then I'm gonna straighten the other side of my head. And this hair is so good, it doesn't take me long um, to do. And you always wanna start at the bottom, but I forgot, before I do that, let me spray some stuff in my hair. See, it always wants to stop working and it smells so good. Okay, well, smoothing balm. So it creates smooth it it creates smoothness, adds shine, natural bitanical straightener, medium hold factor, weightless formula, helps to tangle, frizz resistance, build up free formula, helps prolong blowout results, color safe. And oh, dime size. So I just put way too much. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm being clumsy. But I want to get it evenly distributed. So I do have a lot of hair. So I'm going to do a little by little. It smells so good. They, set, they have it at Kroger, so I'm pretty sure they have it at Sally's, too. And it wasn't too expensive. I think it was probably about... Damn, I really don't remember. Is the price still on here? The price isn't on here. I think it was like $10 or something like that. I'm not too far from my straightener. <laughs> but I'm gonna put that in here. And then I'm gonna make sure I get it on my ends because my length of my hair is really important to me. There we go. And I actually don't even want to use this. I've been liking to use my wide pick. We need that comb. Ah, I'm so clumsy right now. I'm very clumsy. Um, I've been years learning to use this. It just works so much better on my hair, and it doesn't pull out my hair as much. Just like that. 
It looks really nice. I love it. See this, this. You see how this works so much better, and it didn't pull out that much of my hair. This be just yanking my hair out. Like I'm not gonna untake that. I'm gonna throw that over there. I don't even want to use that anymore. Um. So I feel like I got it in my hair nice, and I'm also gonna get some more and put it on my real hair on my leave out. Make sure you take care of that leave out, girl. And I have some more leave out right here. So I'm gonna take some and put some all on that leave out. Cause I, I told her to do very, very little leave out. It looks so much better with little leave out cause you can't see too much of the difference in the length of the hair. But um, yeah, girl, cause my hair was breaking off. You see the difference in these bangs and this side? But it's starting to grow bad. It was just, I was using too much heat, like um, too high of heat on my hair. My part is like, it's kind of cute. Um, and then I'm just gonna use some bio silk. Cause this is kind of like a heat protectant, one of my favorite heat protectants. Start with my bangs. And just work that down to the ends. All the way to the ends, girl. Yeah. Okay, my sugar fits over here, thankfully. And I know I have another. Um, there it is, right here. Holder, so I'm gonna put some of this stuff in here. Since I don't need this right now, I'm gonna phone. lay that phone in there so it can weigh it down so that thing doesn't my straighteners and fall out. I love me some bio silk. I'm just gonna use a little bit more on my ends. start part in it and let's get busy we all let's talk about boys how has y'all's love life been going like for real because mine <clears throat> has been going fairly well I only like to date like really gorgeous men so I've been getting the pick of the litter lately, and I'm dating for sure, but I'm dating with purpose though. I'm not like dating, just casually dating. If I can't see myself with you, it's just, it's a dub for me, big dub. And I'm not gonna do any house tours. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me to do a house tour. And I'm not gonna do that. I feel like you're gonna see me walking around my house anyway. And I don't think it's like just that necessary for me to show off my place, considering I've had stalkers in the past and it just gets weird. So some people are just weird and I don't really care. Like stalk me all you want to. Like, it's just helping me out more because your weird ass opinion isn't stopping shit. Cause you're still here, but still, you know, my dogs are here and I don't want anyone near my space. Probably put a little bit too much oil. 
They didn't really part it right. I'm kind of just like bullshitting. I think my hair way better than that. Let me quit playing. Cause I want it all nice and straight, bald, straight. Been here for two months now. It's going on three months. And I've been holding it down for sure. So I'm definitely dating because I, I want a man in my life. I miss having a boyfriend. So, but I got my roster's full. I'm, I'm honestly satisfied with the people that I'm talking to right now, with the men that I'm talking to. I'm not, you know, in a relationship or nothing like that. So that's why I say men, because I never put all my eggs in one basket. I'm not gonna just talk to one person. Like, may the best man win. Whoever shows me, you know, the most tension and makes me feel like I, I like him like that. I could cut everybody else off until I feel like that. Oh, ain't nobody safe. Oh, that's right. Oh, I hate that I smoked because now I'm hungry. You want me some pizza? Mm. I don't want to hear anybody talking about me eating in my restroom. Okay. My restroom is clean. There's like a whole little thing right here. There's one that's over there. I'm actually going to eat the crust first because I heated it up too much. And the pizza's falling apart. Mm. Mm. You see how this goes? y'all oh. my whole bathroom or like me taking a shower or anything like that because I haven't honestly I haven't decorated in here yet honestly um I went from living in a one bedroom to a three bedroom uh, I went from living in a thousand something square feet to 2150 square feet so I am still filling the space and of everything and I left some things and threw some things away or gave some things away that I no longer wanted so I'm still getting everything together that way that my content for y'all will be nice because y'all know I like nice stuff um, but I've just been you know taking care of the babies figuring out what my next step is and what I want to do and what I really want to focus my time on now that I've I've literally done everything I've had like as far as what I mean by I've done everything like I've had every type any kind of business that I've ever wanted I've had the opportunity and I've been blessed enough to see it through and start the business and do it so now that I know what I want to do I'm doing it I'm go for it. I feel like I'm too close okay there we go I felt so claustrophobic
And I couldn't move. My body is tea though, like for sure. Now let's listen to some music while I do my hair. Instead of the music, I wanted to talk to y'all about hair products. So personally me, I've been into Mane and Tell, the product, the hair product that has the horses on it. Personally, girl, I wish I would have been introduced to those products a long time ago. Mind you, I'm editing this video but I shot this like a couple weeks ago and I finally found the products for my hair. I have seven bundles of 40 inch in my hair and obviously it doesn't look like it anymore because they've shedded and I'm really upset that I didn't find the main and tail hair products until this point. Even though my hair still looks really good, I wish I would have found it when it was more fuller. That way my hair wouldn't have shedded that much. So right now I love the main and tail leave in hair conditioner. It's the hair strengthener. It's about like $10. I bought that along with a biotin leave in conditioning spray girl when i tell you it changed my life my whole hair routine i'm so into the leave-in conditioners so if you haven't yet girl go buy and try you out the main and tail hair strengthener leave-in conditioner and the biotin you can find it at pretty much any beauty supply store Hey, 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 hey sister friend, how are y'all doing today? So to pick up from yesterday, I am about to start cleaning up the crib. After I get the dogs, well I let them run around outside, I pick up the poop with my pooper scooper. I would show y'all more of me being outside, but stalkers are really crazy and I don't want anyone ever to be able to find a landmark of where I'm at, cause like I have stalkers that are that serious about it. Um, and yeah, let me let y'all see the lashes too. They look way better than my other lashes. I'm gonna book a fill soon so y'all can meet her and say hi to my new, my new lash tech. But, sorry, I got caught up. After they're done running around outside for, uh, we wake up around nine, it's noon, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I let, I let them run around for three hours. And then after I get them put down, they are chilling. The girls will get their hair cut soon. So Shiloh's sexy ass right there used to look just like her. So she's gonna be gorgeous. I can't wait till she gets her cut. And here's Zena. She's one of the leaders. Her and Delancey are the leaders of the pack. So if they're acting up, everyone else is probably acting up. But Shiloh is a really, really good boy. So they're down for this afternoon. And I already sweeped. And I just got done mopping, which is why it's kind of wet. So I'm gonna go in, clean up my room, jump in the shower, um, and then go run my errands. So let's get it. All right, sister, so excuse my mirror that has no mirror on it. I decided to keep the whole set because I spent a couple thousand dollars and it's just like replacing glass. So that they can replace the mirror. I just haven't got around to it yet. And I definitely wanted to keep it. And I'm probably going to spray paint it gold to go with my room. But other than that, my cleaning routine is very simple. I get me a bucket of hot water, some Ajax soap, and some bleach. If y'all know any good products though for wooden floors, let me know because the bleach does make my floors a little bit white. And I'm not liking it. She says she was arguing with Jayla earlier in the night before she asked him to leave. I came to my son to go. I want to go to the top shit. I'm going to go to the top shit. 
The ex-girlfriend says she looked out her window and saw James lying on the sidewalk, shocked. Downs asks if anyone else stays in her place. So this is my second bathroom. I let my friends come over sometimes and shower. And this one, I don't let people use my restroom because it's just giving, you're in my space. You know how that be, girl. But I have this really nice candle. It's like, it's watermelon. It smells like watermelon. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this candle because I love my house to smell good. I do have animals. You can't smell my animals, but still, you know, I don't want you to be able to. So I got to prevent that by keeping it nice and clean. Okay, so get in here later but the crib is clean now I'm just gonna finish tidying up my room my room is almost clean see and this is what most of my morning consists of is getting the place back clean oh and I just took my lighter from up uh, look, 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 this is funny because this is the lighter for upstairs and I'm gonna look I don't feel like walking back up there. Ooh. Yeah. So that way when I walk up there, I'll remember, I'll see it on the floor and I'll pick it up, put it back. Versus having to walk back up there right now. I'm not walking back up there right now. I'm not doing it, absolutely not. Okay. And my fridge. My fridge ain't nothing special to be honest with you. There's nothing in here. Like, literally, it's nothing in here. Got some waters, got some leftover pizza. This is trash, more waters. And my lemonade. I need to go grocery shopping, which I'm about to do in a second. Oh, my arm is so sore. I was mopping, right? And while I was mopping, I fell backwards. It was horrible. I know the puppies were like, God damn, what the, what the fuck's wrong with this human being? And I put on First 48 for my animals while we're chilling. It just gives really homey vibes. And I also got this candle lit over here. So, yeah, girl. Mm, still got the big ass gold mirror. All right, so let me finish cleaning up my room so I can get in the shower. And then we're gonna go to Kroger's and get some groceries and if y'all didn't listen before this mirror i broke it i've had this mirror forever i decided to keep it so i can get the mirror replaced versus throwing it all away and having to pay for a whole new mirror the glass to replace it would probably be like 200 bucks i just haven't got to it yet but i'm gonna get to it here very soon let me go ahead and whip my shit together <sighs> so we can go grocery shopping girl all right, ladies, so this is what I'm wearing to go run my errands. Oh, hold on, I cannot use, I cannot, this arm is not good. All right, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing to run my errands, cute little white top, white shorts, my Nike slides. I have a bandaid on my knee because I fell. But it's just, I mean, it's comfortable, it's cute, nothing too crazy. And I have on this hat that I also got from the Nike store. I've been trying to keep it cute or put it on mute, okay? Yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Let's go run my errands. Like it, you know, the booty move. That's all that really matters. Bit, 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 bit. <laughs> Let me make sure we're all tucked up in here. There we go. I like it. It's comfortable, it's not 
doing too much. I put coconut oil on my toes, on my fingers. Ooh, let me put some more coconut oil because what's going on? <laughs> So I decided to go to the Fiesta Mart first. I'm gonna get me some groceries. So I decided not to go to Kroger's because usually when I go to Kroger's, I can never find anything that I wanna eat. And I realized that it's because I grew up in a Hispanic household. So most of the foods that are at Kroger's, I can't really relate to them. So I decided to start doing my grocery shopping where I am culturally where I can relate to it culturally. That's what I meant to say. So Fiesta Mart has most of the foods that I grew up eating. So I'm gonna go there first and see what they got, see if you know that's where I should be sh doing my food shopping at. And I'm gonna grab me some stuff. And then after that, I'm gonna go to a Dollar Tree to get me some um, cleaning products. So I like to go to the Dollar Tree because it's the same products that you can find anywhere else is just for a little bit cheaper and not even just that it's for a dollar like wipes i'm gonna get me some wipes from there i'm gonna get me some dish soap from there i'm gonna show y'all what i get but girl let me pay attention to this road I came to the fiesta thinking that I was going to find a whole bunch of different foods that I grew up with or just, you know, foods that Kroger's and other grocery stores didn't have. But I was sadly mistaken. I drove 20 minutes when I literally could have just went around the corner to the Kroger's because the fiesta honestly didn't have too many things that I couldn't find at a Kroger's. Yes, of course, they have more Mexican style seasonings and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, I could have still got that stuff from the Kroger's. It was pretty much the same. And not gonna lie, people are so rude. And you know your girl has little bitty anger issues and she's working on them, but I did a really good job. Like I'm talking about if someone is with their grocery cart, pushing it, why would you push yours right behind them? Like the whole time while I was shopping, people would be right behind me as if one, they couldn't say excuse me and two, like they couldn't go around. So I was constantly, I was like the whole time I was shopping, I was just in a little bit of a um, attitude because everyone is so rude. People don't know how to say excuse me anymore. People don't know how to go around. People don't know how to say hi. People just stare at you like you're an alien and like you're the like, like they have a problem. And not even just that, I know I'm a pretty girl, so I know girl people are probably looking because I'm pretty, but hey, say hi. You know, say hi. Say how are you? Say excuse me. Everything doesn't have to be so hostile all the time. And I just, that's how I kept feeling while I was shopping. But other than that, I kept my cool. 
and I still got my products. I got me some tostadas, you know, I'll just, I'm going to show y'all here. Um, I think I show y'all, I'm really not sure, girl. <laughs> but I just got, you know, little stuff. I spent about 140 bucks. This is the, at the time that I didn't have my Bank of America card. So, girl, I only brought $140. And I was so embarrassed at the checkout line because I had to put some of the stuff back because I went over on my budget by like 100, like maybe 80 bucks or so. So, I was a little embarrassed because I was like, damn, I'm like, I look like I don't have any money, but I do. I just was carrying cash and I only brought so much with me. So, next time, I'm definitely, if I bring cash, gonna bring at least $200. That's how much it costs for me to get me and my dog stuff because I love to get my dogs kidneys and livers and chicken gizzards and chicken necks and pig feet to um, put in with their dog food. I also have my puppies eating real meats too. Hey sister, so I made it back to the crib, almost not in one piece though. So I got pulled over on my way back home and I mean, I felt like I was gonna go to jail because I know I have a couple warrants. Um, and but thankfully, none of them were bad enough for him to take me to jail. He told me he was gonna give me tickets. And then when he brought me the tickets, three of them, um, because my, because I was feeding, I started to cry. I'm not gonna lie, I started crying. I was crying, he already let me know I wasn't gonna, he wasn't gonna take me to jail or anything like that and he was gonna write me tickets and I was cool with that. But then when he went back to his car and I was just sitting and thinking, like I started crying because I was just so upset because I've been trying so hard to change my life around and stay out of trouble. Like a lot of y'all know, I have lots of mug shots from being in the streets, you know what I mean? I didn't, I don't have a family I don't speak to my mother. I don't speak to my father. I don't speak to my sisters. I haven't had a relationship with my family in over 15 years. So whenever you are, whenever you don't have a family, sometimes that can lead to you being in the streets. And if you are really in the streets like that, you're going to get in trouble. And I got in my fair, my fair share of trouble from guns, drugs, hustling, stealing when I was younger. And just, when he brought me my tickets, like, I don't know, I just couldn't help it. Like, my body just started crying because I think I'm about to cry right now. Because I'm trying so hard. Bitch, I'm gonna cry. I'm just like, I'm really trying so hard to change my life around and to be a, you know, a good role model for young girls and just like to stay out of trouble, you know what I mean? And just, even though this is just a ticket, I'm, I'm trying so hard to stay out of trouble and so it just kind of like upset me a little bit because I don't have time for this shit no more I don't have time to get in trouble no more you know I'm getting older I'm, I want to have kids I want to have a man I want to have a nice comfortable safe environment to be in not where I'm going outside you know wondering if I'm gonna go to jail because I got warrants so that's why I started crying out because I'm no bitch I ain't never no bitch but it's like have y'all ever seen that show um the Ozark when those two old people the old lady and the old guy and then she kills her husband because he started getting weak or like getting pussy, like like not turning pussy, like he started like, he stopped leading with anger. He stopped leading to hurt. He wanted to settle down and stay out of trouble. I don't know if y'all know the Arza Ozark scene I'm talking about, but I feel like him. I feel like I just can't take it no more. I used to be such a fighter and such a, all these things and I'm, I'm still, I'll still, Hey, chill out. I mean, I'll still beat your ass, but I have shit to lose. I don't have time to go to jail. I got dogs here at the house that need puppies, you know what I mean? I don't have time for any of that. So I just started crying, girl, because just inside, I was just like, I'm trying so hard to stay out of trouble. I can't believe I got pulled over. That's the first time I've ever been pulled over in this car. So it was just like, I'm glad that kind of happened because it made me realize like, 
if I was to go to jail, I would have had a whole issue today. The puppies would have been in this thing, not been, have no access to no water. My dogs are inside, the door is locked, they don't have no access to no water. I would have had to have somebody come bomb me out, have to pay them back, have to come to court, have to rush here to get the puppies some food. I don't have time for that. So, I broke down. I sure did, and I'm glad that happened to me. Come on, my friend, baby. Cause what would I do without you, Papa? Y'all say hi to Shiloh. Say hi, YouTube. Say hi, sisters. How are you, sisters? I decided to keep him. He's gonna make good sperm. He's gonna have good sperm and make good babies. He's got all the qualities to make some good, amazing puppies. So we're gonna keep them. We're gonna keep them. Yeah, he got white, he got black, he got brown, he got gray, he got all the colors to make good babies. Oh. All right, let me show y'all what I got. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got from the grocery store. My hair is just like all over the place right now, but. And so it's got like a lot of oil in it, so. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> okay. All right, let me show y'all what I got from the grocery store. So I got me some sweet corn cream style. If you ain't eating corn the cream style, what are you doing, Perel? Some ranch style beans, some sliced carrots, some more beans, some strawberries. Some sour cream for my tacos. Some verde sauce for my tacos. And I realized I really honestly could have just went to Kroger's. So I went to the Fiesta Mart thinking I was gonna see all type of foods that I grew up to and I honestly didn't. I saw only thing about Fiesta Mart that I will go to is to get my dog's meat. Like they have kidney there, they have chicken necks, they have um, pig feet. And I'm gonna start going to Fiesta Mart to get that for my dogs. Otherwise, I could honestly just went shopping at Kroger's. Got me some cheese. Some potatoes. Some Mexican style cheese. I love these hot links. The spicy ones, I don't know if you've ever had these. I know some of y'all don't eat pork. I eat whatever, but I also do eat healthy. So I only eat meat a couple times out of the week. And then I detox. I've been seeing these noodles, so I wanted to try them. So I got me some noodles, some butter, some fettuccine noodles. Um, so I can make me some Alfredo. I got some Alfredo sauce. I got me some olive oil spray for my meat for the pan. Some spice, I got garlic, herb, and black pepper and sea salt all mixed in one. Some green beans. Then I got some of the tostadas. I love tostadas. I prefer tostadas over tacos. And then I got me some tortillas for my hot links. I got some Cheeto puffs for my sandwiches. Some lettuce. If I can help you with anything, just let me know. Then I got some beef tips. Good. It's fun.
I got some bread, some wheat bread. I got me some beef so I can make my tacos with. I got some coffee. I cannot live without my coffee. This is just some regular coffee, community coffee, nothing special. I got me some white rice. For my beef tips, I'm gonna make beef, beef tips with white rice, my beans. Then I got some macaroni and cheese, two of those. Thousand Island, I don't like mayonnaise or mustard on my sandwiches, I only like Thousand Island on my sandwiches. Then I got some refried beans for my tostada. Some turkey breast meat for my sandwiches. And some chicken. I believe these are chicken breasts. Yeah, these are chicken breasts. And I only took $145 cash with me. So I've been shopping with cash lately and only putting money into my bank for my bills because it helps me budget better. For instance, I, bought, I, I had about like $200 worth of groceries in my cart, but I couldn't get all of that stuff because it only brought me $145, $46 and I was right at 145. So, and all the stuff that I didn't get, I didn't need it. So, got all the stuff that I needed for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip me up at um, a turkey, a hot link, eat and just chill for a little bit. And I'll check in with y'all in a few. <laughs> I think these are about ready. Let it get just for a little bit longer. I'm gonna put it on my tortillas with my cheese and my verde sauce. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait. Lunch is served, ladies. <laughs> All right, let's see how this tastes. Honestly, never had it. Honestly, never had them this way with lettuce and cheese on it, but it just like sounds so good. So let's see if it tastes good. Mm. 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 That's really good. I haven't had a hot link in a long time. We grew up eating these. But the best thing to do is put these in your noodles. Mm. I'm fucking with it. You want to get out? Sit. 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 You sit. Shh. Sit. Good job. Go to some water and go potty. Go, Camila, take them outside. Go take your kids outside. Take your kids outside. Motherfuckers. 
Everyone is learning to eat from their bowls. Isabella, right there, her, the second one, she does not play about her food. They already know not to fuck with her. And we got the big dogs over here. She about to start going back in heat. Good, because you're going to get her pregnant again. Yeah. I need more grandbabies. Oh, what's your food? She must be going back in heat. I don't know. See? Zena, come eat your food, baby. Isabella, Bella, Bella, no, no. See, you just a bully. She's a bully. It's okay, there's some food left over there. So if she's really hungry, she'll go eat her dad's food. Cairo's not feeling too good. I gave them pumpkin. Um, this It was a can of food for digestive support, but he's the only one that threw it up. Like He doesn't like pumpkin, I guess. Boo boo, ew. You gotta learn to boo boo outside. Hi. Hi, Zena. Hey, Zena. How are you, Zena? Shallow, no. Sit. No, no. Sit. Good boy. Bella, sit. Good girl. Zena, sit. Yeah, buddy. My girl and my boy is small. Where's it fancy? Where's it fancy? That's my where's it fancy? Where's it fancy? That's the Lancy. That's what you get. Don't eat up food. Yeah, I'm gonna give Zena just a little bit. I told you, Zena, to eat your food. You didn't want to eat it. Now they ate it for you. I'll give you a little bit. Mara, let me see a little bit. You'll be okay. Just a little bit. See? No. 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 You can't be a bully. You act just like your mommy. Zena, come here, baby. Zena. No, you bully. Hey, Zena. Zena. Hey, Zena. No. Zena's. Zena. Come here, Zena. Zena, Zena, Zena. Y'all be bullying her cause she, she little. I'm her bully for her now. I'm her bully for her now. I got you, baby girl. I got you. That cannot eat your food no more. No. You better quit eating her food. I beat you up. Don't be eating her food. Let baby girl eat. Zena. They not bully you while I run, girl. <sighs> Good morning. <laughs> you already know how it go. Got the babies outside. Thought my lashes look so much better, though. It compliments my face. The other lashes, I don't even understand how I didn't see that. But, you know, I just be pulling out my camera and recording. So, and I straightened my hair last night. Girl. Sis. Guess what happened... Alright. And now I'm gonna pick up the big one's food. Otherwise they will eat it. And they have been shitting really nicely lately. What I mean by that is um before they were shitting like bricks. 
like literally every couple minutes I'd have to walk out to shit um let me make sure this time my lashes are laid because that shit wasn't cute I just love how she complimented my face but yeah so they were shitting like all over the place but now the boo boo looks like it's every every couple like it's twice a day probably maybe they probably shit like two times a day there's a little turd over there so I'm gonna pick that up but sister, guess what happened last night? It is not sitting well with my spirit. Hold on, let me get my lashes together because lashes are like literally the, so the door to your soul. Because your eyes are the door to your soul. And so if your lashes look good, guys, it's gonna be all over you. So hold on, let me brush these out. I'm learning to take care of my lashes since I spent. It's crazy, she only charged me 160, right? I used to pay $250 for my lashes for them to come off within a week. So old girl was definitely scamming me. Probably because I was one of her only fucking clients. One every week get a feel looking ass, bitch. Okay. I don't really wipe my face because I literally just <clears throat> I literally just woke up. You will not believe what happened to me last night. Hold on, because I can't leave them for too long because some of them have been trying to escape through the bars in the fence. So I'm going to hurry back out there. <laughs> Zena, why are you not outside with your siblings? Let me go out there. Because if y'all trying to escape again, I'm beating all kind of ass. Yeah, y'all better be in this motherfucking yard. Y'all better be in this motherfucking yard. Play with me. Play with me. You already know I'll beat your ass again and again. That's my grandson, though. I love him, but I still love y'all, too. All right. Everybody's up in here. Let me clear up this boo-boo. And let me tell you what happened, girl. And you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? About it? Here, I'm gonna drink some water. I'm gonna drink some motherfucking water first. Oh wait, let me get the boo-boo. Hey, don't be eating no boo-boos. Cause I know you nasty, motherfucker. The mom be trying to eat the boo-boo and she's been teaching them nasty skills because they've been trying to eat boo-boo now. Okay. Hold on, girl, I'm gonna tell you. Just give me a moment. All right, girl. So I'm gonna tell y'all what happened to me. Sister friend. Because why would he play with me like that? For what? Like, does he not see all this scrumdiddlyumptiousness? Did he think I was I was gonna play with him, girl? <laughs> not at all. Not at all, sister. All right, so check it. And I know it's early, but I'm grown. I ain't got no kids. Them her kids, not mine. And she do a, I'm just a grandma. Okay, I'm just making sure 
she's fed so she can feed them. And the only reason why I feed them is because she don't have a thumb. If she had a thumb, I would make Camila feed her own babies with the little scooper and put the food in the bowl. Because who did you think you're playing with? You got pregnant. No, I didn't lay on my back. And technically, you didn't lay on your back either. We inseminated you. But you still did it. You let us do it. So. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.